keep going. This is the first interpretive video of the Claris Lutegra spec book. I'll be interpreting pages one and two from the manuscript. These pages show the system of the seven words uh, that are then shown throughout the manuscript in various forms. And uh, the words are introduced with a mnemonic verse that helps, uh, helps a combatant remember what these words are. There is also, though, a commentary that the art of combat is described as follows. It is the place, placement of various blows divided into seven parts as follows. And we have the, the seven words. Now, it also says that these seven words are so uh, obvious that even an untrained fencer will know how to do them. And this is a little bit weird because a lot of times we look at these pictures and we can't figure out what they mean. Now, initially I thought it was just a mnemonic system and that it was in such common use that even people who weren't trained would have seen people using these seven words. However, I gained a recent insight from Guy Windsor's interpretation of Fiori uh, which that the placement of various blows actually means that the blows form the words. So by making a cut, whatever position you end up in is one of the seven words. Except for the very first one, which is underarm. So underarm starts as a right foot forward position with the buckler with the sword tucked into your underarm. This is consistently shown throughout the manuscript that the sword is actually up in the underarm and not below the arm like this, which is different from every later sword and buckler text that I've seen. The buckler is then held in front of the sword hand to protect the hand. From here, we go through a sequence of cuts which form the other wards. So the first cut is a diagonal cut upwards with a step, which brings us to the right shoulder ward. From here, I'm going to cut laterally across, and I end up in the left shoulder ward. From here, I'm going to cut laterally back across in the other direction, and I end up in the high ward. From here, I'm going to cut diagonally downward from the right, and end up in the high ward on the other side. From here, I'm going to cut diagonally downward, and I end up in the fifth ward at the side. And from here, I cut diagonally upward from this side, and I'm now in the sixth ward, which is held to the breast. The seventh ward long point is formed by doing a thrust. So each of these wards is formed by taking a step and executing a blow, and you finish in the position that is created there. I'm going to show the same seven wards from the other side. So again, I'm starting in underarm, right foot forward position, sword tucked under the arm, buckler held in front. From here, I'm going to cut diagonally upward, and I come into right shoulder ward. From here, I do a lateral cut across, and I come into left shoulder ward. I do a lateral cut back in the other direction, end up in the high ward. I do a diagonal downward cut, and come back into the high ward on the other side. From here, I cut diagonally downward to the right, and I end up in the fifth ward at the side. From here, I cut diagonally upward, and I end in the sixth ward. And then finally, I take a step forward and thrust into the seventh ward long point. Now there's another little bit at the end where uh, the manuscript says that three take the four, the rest then flee. Or that's one of the translations of the, uh, the line. This, I'm assuming, refers to the seven words. What they mean by three take the four is open to a lot of interpretation. My two working theories are that only three of these words are actually useful. The other four get thrown out. Or another possibility, which uh, was brought to my attention by Francesco Lenza on the Hemel Alliance forums, is that perhaps they mean three of these words can be used both as a word and as a siege to besiege somebody standing in the war, uh, and the rest can't. That's another good possibility. As to the idea that the words are being thrown out, we also have the line that the common fencer uses these words, and Claris Lutegaris holds the opposite and the means. Uh, this to me says that this was essentially a mnemonic system that was simple for training. It's also very symmetrical and stylized, and the rest of the manuscript 
is how to defeat people using the seven word system. And what's presented in the rest of the manuscript is actually a series of principles and techniques that work together from a variety of positions. But the seven words are very limited.